sometimes going back to the place you started. Is where you need to be. Complicated. He uh, he didn't fight. What? This guy he didn't fight. He's been trained so hard. I mean, what happened? He chicken out? I watched the show. You don't want to fight that guy. No, he uh, he showed. This ought to be good. Some ex junkie making his debut against me on national TV. We give the medics something to do for the rest of the night. <laughs> Okay, okay, so what happened? Why didn't Scotty fight? All right, so I'm wrapping Scotty's hands, trying to get him psyched up, and he just starts getting this dazed look in his eyes. Oh. What's up, Scotty? How are you feeling? You all right? I'm straight, bro. You don't look so good, man. Hey, are you all right? You said you were off these, man. You can't fight like this on National TV, you're gonna get killed. Ugh, oh, what a time to fall off the wagon. He was doing so good. So I had to go tell the producer that Scotty had caught a bug and wouldn't be able to fight. And the producer was so mad. He said we wasted all of his time. They were already set to shoot the episode. And uh, Scotty wasn't getting paid because he wasn't fighting. Your chicken brother will never work for this network again. He's done. I'm sorry, sir, he's in no condition to fight. What do you mean he's in no condition to fight? See, that's what happens when you bring me these no-talent fighters. They run home with their tail between their legs, making excuses to not want to fight me. That's not what's happening. We're not scared to fight you. Oh, we're not scared? Then you fight me. Okay. Why not? Dan? You cool with that? Yeah, but I'm not going to give you a grand just to take a beating. I don't even know if I can use that footage, if he's as bad as I think he's going to be. Then the producer came over to me to make sure I was really going to fight Gavin. Look, you sure you want to do this? I'm only going to give you 500 bucks. You give my brother another shot if he gets better? Yeah, sure. Oh, but if I win, I still want the 10 grand. <laughs> Against Gavin? That's not going to happen. Dude, you were full of it, dude. There was no way you fought Gavin. Yeah, Gavin's legit. I DVR the whole first season. He put five dudes in the hospital. Broken legs, arms, one dude even lost an ear. They still haven't found it. No way. I don't believe it. I was just trying to remember anything I could from my sparring sessions with my brother. But all I ever really was was a punching bag with legs. Right before the fight, Gavin starts jumping around like a wild animal. <laughs> it was a little intimidating. Is that a friend of yours? Because if so, you might want to tell him to catch a bug with his brother. He don't want this fight. <laughs> hey, uh, I have a big fan. Can I get my autograph? Maybe we'll like, do it like a little picture. No, I'm busy. Yeah, me, me too. And this was it. I was about to be humiliated on national TV. I just want to get this over with. Nice tap out challenge. We have Gavin. And the dude. Fight it ready! Fight it ready! Get it on! For a second, I thought he might actually take it easy on me. Not a chance. I decided that 
I might last longer if I could shoot in and take him to the ground. That's easier said than done. He threw a couple quick jabs, which was actually nice because my face went numb. But the knees to the body were excruciating. So I shot in again. But it honestly wasn't much of a fight. And his lefts to my body were taking out what little wind I had left. And I don't know how it happened, but somehow I ended up on top. So I'm just hitting him as hard as I can. And I'm thinking, I'm winning against Gavin. <laughs> so I'm just going to town as hard as I can. Everything's going good. And then he reversed it. Things didn't go so good after that. It was like he could have tapped me out at any minute. He was just pulling me along. Every time I had a box to tap, he'd let me go. He's my hero. <laughs> I didn't think I was getting up after that slam. But I did. And then somehow, I caught him with a left jab. And then a big right, which knocked him a little wobbly. For some reason, I played to the crowd. And as soon as I turned back, wham! He kicked me in the nuts and gave me a huge uppercut. Lights out. The next thing I knew, I was waking up on my couch. I can't find the remote. So serious? Is that how it ended? Yeah. Well, except the exact opposite. <laughs> He gave me a quick jab, and then a big right, and I was barely standing. So as soon as he turned back, I gave him everything I had. And that was it. It was the first time that Gavin had ever been knocked out. He's done, he's done! And then the ref raised my arm, and I had won. It was my first and probably last fight I'll ever be in. but I had taken out Gavin. So that means you buy less today? Yeah, 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 you won 10 grand, right? Come on, come on, let's see it. No, actually the money's all gone. <laughs> what? What? How did you spend 10 grand already? Our father used to tell us what lies behind us and what lies before us matters little compared to what lies within us. He died of an overdose last year. I'm not going to let that happen to my brother. It doesn't matter. Let's go. But I can still buy lunch. All right. Yeah. Okay.